This video is brought to you by Ripple.it, a powerful platform for educators, learners, and developers that makes coding and collaborating easy. Use the name Sean Pritchard in the link below to sign up today and start programming in your browser. Hey, how's it going? You know, today, major tech companies have many different categories of interview questions that they use to test logical reasoning and deduction, psychological capabilities, problem solving abilities, and many other attributes to allow them to make positive decisions and to place you in a field of your expertise. Now, I know there's many people out there who have just gotten out of college or have been programming a long time and need a little direction in handling these tech industry interview processes. And that's why I'm bringing you these questions uh, to open your eyes to the different types of questions you might encounter. Now, these questions all fall in line to mathematical, logical reasoning, algorithm questions, psychological questions, classic logical puzzles, insight questions, lateral thinking, and Fermi-based questions. So if you're not really familiar with those types of subjects and categories are, uh, go check out my other video on the types of interview questions being asked in big tech. So go check that out. And for today's interview question, we're gonna be looking at a classic logical encryption problem that might be asked on your next interview. Okay, so what comes next in the following series of characters? Go ahead and pause the video here for a moment and think about this and try to determine what it is. And if you can figure it out or whatever your answer is, go ahead and write it in the description below. All right, so you ready for the answer? Well, this silly little code here uh, represents the series of letters of the alphabet. Now, capital A, um, as per capital letter, is made of three straight lines, the two that make the actual angle and the one that goes across the center. And to encode this, um, we use SSS. So we can assume that S basically represents a straight line. And the capital B is one straight line and two curved ones. So therefore you have SCC. And therefore we can use straight lines and curved lines to basically make up the rest of the alphabet. Now C is just one curved line and it remains, you know, coincidentally just C. And then D is one straight line and one curved line. And that brings us up to the next term, which must represent the capital letter E. And that is four straight lines. So therefore the answer would be SSS. Not surprisingly, this question is a popular one at Amazon, but many people in computer science, data science, and the tech industry who will come across this type of question would typically think about binary numbers or Roman numerals and would get absolutely lost with this question. But you could see how one would assume that SSS might be ones and Cs might be zeros. And if we did that, it would end up looking like something like this. And you can see from these digits, um, we could play with these, but we keep up with binary numbers and we would end up not getting the answer the interviewers want. And like I said, this isn't what the interviewers are looking for. Um, and what they're looking for is an answer that is unnoticeably simple and elementary that takes some complex logical reasoning to actually figure out. And you must remember too, um, if you are stunned by the question, then you definitely need to find out the constraints of this question. Therefore, it is okay to ask the interviewer specific questions. This actually shows that you're conducting that logical reasoning as well. So you could ask them, is this question in relation to binary numbers? Or is it in relation to Roman numerals? And then you could ask, is it in relation to the alphabet or some other sequence that you might be familiar with? But now you know the answer to this and you've got some insight on how to approach these types of questions. I wish you well and I'll see you next time.